Mark Mitchell. Uh, this is a te technical question. Uh, is it okay to wear a normal tuxedo shirt and bow tie with a Prince Charlie coatee? Um, <clears throat> is it okay-ish? Um, I would say this. Normal, or I'll say, you know, Saxon wear, you know, a regular tux shirt is so ubiquitous at this point that, and so many people do it with a kilt, with a Prince Charlie jacket and vest, um, that it's just kind of become a thing. Um, normally, traditionally, a kilt jacket and, or a kilt shirt, or a, a, a shirt that you would wear with a uh, Prince, Charlie, Prince Charlie jacket and vest would be a wing collar shirt with a placket over the buttons, very plain front so you don't distract from the rest of the outfit. You don't want to have ridges and all kinds of, you know, frilly stuff. You don't want any of that. Just a plain front to the shirt, not even buttons, no studs, no nothing. Right. That being said, the vast majority of, or I shouldn't say the majority, but a lot of people who wear kilt or a uh, Prince Charlie jacket and vest just say, okay, well, I have a tuck shirt. That's what I'm wearing, period, done. So it's kind of become a thing. If I'm going to, you know, Nostradamus it and forecast out 50 years from now, 100 years from now, yeah, there'll probably be a lot more of those than there will be proper, you know, shirts to wear with a, uh, a Prince Charlie jacket and vest just because of the, the ready, you know, ready, you can purchase it anywhere versus specialty nature of the other. But right. yeah, if you have one, don't feel bad. Wear it as simple as possible, but wear it. Um, if you have the proper shirt, great, wear that. I was gonna say the I think the biggest problem with the, the regular tuck shirts is the studs. You have uh, you have the metal buttons on the waistcoat that goes with a Prince Charlie, so they're bright metal. It's the traditional Clan de uh square buttons, and so you have this line of like stud, 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 stud button, button, button. It looks odd. So if you have an option of the, the placketed shirt, it's going to look better because the attention is going to the sporin and the, the bling on the jacket and the vest, uh, which is what you want. If you can't avoid it, maybe see if you can get like pearl studs instead of black, um, something like that, so that it, they're more subtle. Um, I think you know it, when it distracts me and I dislike it, it's because I'm seeing like either you know red or black, you know tux tux shirt studs going down into the vest and it just looks odd. Yeah. So, I agree. But it's hard to avoid right now just because of the way the market is. So, I get Yep. It. But it should be as plain as possible if they have the frilly... What's, what's not frilly? I'm not looking for the word frilly. What word am I looking for? Ribbed? Ridges? I don't know. Do you know what uh, I'm talking about? Yeah, now I'm... Now it's causing my brain to misfire. Is it so. ribbed? I don't know. We'll call it no, ribbed. No, no, no. Whatever. No, no. Yeah. Not real. Uh, yeah, whatever. But I know what you mean. <laughs> We've the made stuff. a mess at the end of this video. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do? Do you wear a shirt that you wear for with your tux, or do you have a shirt specifically that you wear with your Prince Charlie? To see other videos that we've done on Highland wear formal dress, check these videos out over here. <laughs>